so we started out the morning of day nine working in our base i put down a forge campfire i was making some stuff to make a workbench because i need to get a workbench made and then i realized hmm i'm short on some things <laughs> so we have to go out and get those and get a job done so that's what we did we uh started working on that this episode's going to be a little bit weird because i forgot to turn my mic on like an idiot so there's that So here I'm showing you that uh, we got to get this uh, stuff done for the forge. We almost have everything except for 10 mechanical parts. Um, that job goes back to wrecked. And then we're going to go do this infestation because I'm a glutton for punishment. Along the way, we stop there and rob people's mailboxes because that's what we do. And that's how we roll. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it. <laughs> I stopped here and decided to rob some more mailboxes. There wasn't much in there, but some bullshit, some bow hunting, stuff like that. Nothing that I really needed. I said, holy shit, this house is falling apart. It's a goddamn clusterfuck. There's no roof left. I said, I know this POI, and it can be pretty bad in the basement. First off, I had to rob some other people's mail. I clicked the marker, got up there, said there's a damn dog house, but I never know of there being a dog here and I've never seen one. I said, fuck that bow and took the painkillers and brought them down because I had a feeling I was going to need them in this POI. I looked around, double checked, always checked my back, jumped over here, looked around a little bit, thought, damn, what the hell happened here? And then I seen, oh God, it's a Bernie boy and he's on fire. And this is going to be bad. I decided to wake him up like this. He came running. I missed. He slapped my tits around. I hit him in the head a couple times. He got another hit on me. I knocked him, knocked his arm off, and he fell down. I thought, I'll just jump down here and beat you in the head with this stick. Finally knocked him down, and he died. I was standing here trying to repair, and I heard somebody coming up behind me. as another Bernie boy that's on fire. He tried to slap me in the ass from behind, and I didn't like that too much, so I started beating him with this pipe. He finally died. This guy wasn't too much of a threat, but he still kind of fought me and slapped me around a little bit. Finally got him knocked down, and then I kind of was very scared at this point. My tensions were high. I found a vehicle book and some repair kits. I thought, ooh, I needed that. I can repair that uh, wrench with that. So we continued on searching through the attic until we got downstairs. Decided to go ahead and go back outside because I'd woke up a whole bunch of people. I found Arlene, knocked her down, then I decided I was going to beat on this door because it sounded like there was a few zombies at it. Of course, it was another Arlene, so I went ahead and smacked the door. I missed Arlene, hit her again, hit the stairs, and then <laughs> knocked her ass out. I thought to myself, I bet there's a feral in here somewhere. And I got too comfortable and decided to go in the house and look around a little bit. Picked up that chair and thought, oh, I need some other chairs. I need some wood. So I walked around the corner, found a bunch more zombies. It looked like just my husband and uh, another business guy. And then I thought maybe I seen a biker. I wasn't sure. Then all of a sudden I seen an arm swinging and it was a feral. I knew it was a feral. It was a feral thick. <laughs> he came a running up the stairs. I swang, missed, rode him up the ladder, fell down, hit him in the balls, and we kind of beat on each other for just a couple minutes there. Right about here, we started playing a game where I jumped back and forth between roofs, missing zombies, out of stamina, panicking. I'm all kinds of flustered at this point because I put a chair 
in my inventory instead of my weapon. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it's a thing that happened. <laughs> I left that in there for you guys to see. I went ahead and bashed his brains in. There's all kinds of noise going on. All kinds of bad things are happening. I still have not killed the feral. He's still down there angry. There's a biker still. Things are still bad. And I'm, I'm hating life currently at this point. I was getting slapped around pretty good and I thought this is it. This is going to be the death of me right here. Day nine to a biker and a feral bow. And I thought, nah, I'm better than that. Come on up here, dick cheese. And I knocked his ass off the ladder and he died. Now, the other hand, this guy was an absolute dick cheese. He could not... Well, he could not jump for one. <laughs> but... He, he would not die. And then he would get angry and run. It was a whole ordeal. I'm already hating this POI. I found a splint and the bandages and some other stuff in the bathroom here. I thought that's exactly what I needed, except I'm still infected. So I was still kind of worried about that, but at least we took care of our uh, sprains. I opened the door, seen a feral and thought, oh, fuck me dead. And I put this block down and began to plan my uh, attack, per se. I started trying to wake him up, so I broke this picture. They both woke up. Arlene's not feral, but the other guy is that we saw. I thought, I'm going to deal with him first. I started beating him in the head. He would not go down very easily. I swung through here just a couple more times, and I was able to get him down. But he definitely took a beating, him and his flannel. And then Arlene came around after I took care of her boyfriend. She's a little pissed off at me, so I had to deal with her. And then knocked her ass out. I finally got down in the basement where the bad things are. I seen the loot, and then I seen all these zombies. I thought, I know there's got to be a feral in here somewhere. So we kind of crept around. I didn't know what to do here. I was kind of panicked. I made an escape route here. I kind of backtracked to make sure, and I'm glad I did because I didn't put enough ladders down. Just for shits and giggles, I made that as my escape route. Just to be safe, because fighting feral zombies with a baton is pretty rough. Once you have the stun baton, or baton, it's not that bad. So I stepped in some goo and thought, God, I'm going to die. <laughs> and then I finally got Bo's attention here. I got him over here kind of away from the other folks. Beat him in the head, his face sprayed like a fountain. Sounded like uh, you shook up a can of soda and opened it up and it sprayed everywhere. There's another bow kind of standing in the doorway. I thought, how in the hell am I going to get you over here? I brought some rocks down. I thought, I'm going to throw this over there and get his attention. And then he automatically seen me anyway. So he's still spraying like a Coke bottle. Been shook all night long. I got Bo taken care of here, knocked his ass out, and then thought... I think there's about three or four zombies still in there. I threw that in there, thought if there's any more awake, they'll wake up and move to that or they'll go to that. Didn't work out. As soon as I got close here, I tripped the line. They woke up, knocked him out. My husband was pissed off that I woke him up from his sleep. He came a charging at me with purpose and started slapping me around. I was dehydrated, my stamina was fucked, and I was infected even really bad. My husband's twin came out. Zombies are upstairs. They're going to start falling down behind me. I'm, I'm puckered, to say the least, at this point. My seat has sucked up every ounce of fabric that's on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought now's the time to go ahead and get the loot. Zombies are coming thick and fast. There's a whole bunch of ammo and some robotic parts, shotgun parts, you know, just the normal stuff that I don't need. This asshole was over here beating at this wall. And I keep hearing more upstairs. They started dropping down again. They're breaking wood, everything. I thought I'd, if I turned off my light, maybe we could sneak around a little bit. And things seem to get a little bit quieter. I was looking through my inventory thinking what I could scrap. I, and I need the lead for the turrets, so I thought I'd get rid of that. I'll repair those, and that'll open up some more space. I decided to go ahead and get into the loot while I was thinking about it. Then I heard somebody beating at this door again. It's just Skeletor. So I started pounding him in the face with my baton. Baton. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's, I'm going to go back and forth through this whole series, guys. A baton and baton. Tomato, tomato. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but it is what it is. So we fought Skeletor's twin here. The other Skeletor dropped that loot bag, and I thought we'll get that in a minute. Joe come to see what was going on. I blew his mind. He was unexpecting that. We had a book, another baton, some medical, and some ammo we can scrap or sell. We had a shotgun messiah crate that I was hoping for good things, but it wasn't. It was just some bullshit, which seems to be a, a lot of what we've been getting lately. And then I looked around and thought, hmm, is this it? I almost died for this. Thank you, Cornmill. I appreciate it. I decided to get in Skeletor's bag, and guess what? He had herbal antibiotics. I was excited about that. It took care of our infection. We don't have to worry about going home really quick to get our honey. So we were good to go. I thought, I need to get the hell out of here before I die. So that's what we did. I got back to Jen's, forgot about these books. I read those, found some more over here that I'd forgot about. And I thought, Jen, your discounts don't impress me. So quit trying to send me to places that you want me to die in because I'm damn tired of it. I am so glad to see your face. I told her she was full of I shit because she, <laughs> she sent me to death. Here's your pay for a job well done. Then she didn't really give me anything good but some lock picks. I needed those to get in the safe down at home. Then I said, you got any more jobs that you're not going to try and get me killed at? She just kind of stared at me funny and didn't say anything. It was very awkward. So then we found a job. It was real close. It's right next door to our house. You look like you could handle yourself. Thanks, huh? I told her I could, I but my she wasn't my type. So we got to the next job. I thought, damn, somebody drove through this house. It's a mess. And I remembered this house is uh, can be pretty rough at times, too. But I thought, ah, I got this. I got this. And then I immediately forgot how the house was laid out and started breaking shit. I found the satchel in the closet and I kept looking around. I'm like, I do not remember how to get at the top of this POI at all. I just don't remember. So I was eyeballing. I remember jumping across from there to there to get to the main loot, but getting up to the top, I just, for the life of me, couldn't remember how to get over there. I'm sure it's probably pretty simple and I'm just an idiot, but you guys know how I am. So I finally figured out, I'll just do it this way. I'll make my own path. I got up here, went up, and this is the main loot room. Now, the floor gives out up here, and I remembered that, but I couldn't remember if there was any zombies up here, which there wasn't at the time I was up here. So I was thankful about that. I was glad to have a break. I found me an ax. I thought, damn. This place was worth it, even only if it's only level one. Then I forgot. I scrapped that thing and 
I don't need that anymore. Well, I do. I need it to upgrade stuff. This floor gives out, so I ran across there really fast, and then I was like, I know there's zombies down there. And I thought, and there's no way out. So we're not going to drop down there immediately. Found some gloves. Uh, tech junkie charge strike book. And some food. I went ahead and ate the food because I was hungry a little bit. Took that stuff and thought, nah, I don't really need it, but I'll take it. Medical journal and a bandage. We got into the Savage Country box here. There wasn't really much in that as there usually isn't, but there was some stuff. I read that. I went ahead and thought, hmm, let's get down here and see what's waiting for us. And then I seen a cop. And I thought, well, fuck that and jump back up here and decided to completely nope off out of this area. I decided to come down here in the basement first before taking on the cop, bash that guy's head in, remembered, oh, I think the floor gives out here. So I came over here and looked and I was like, yeah, that floor gives out, you fall down and zombies come out of the closet chasing you usually. So I decided that's not what's going to happen today. Not today, my friend. So I started clearing out some area after I got over here. And I thought, okay, if there's a feral, I got an escape path. I'm going to try and sneak up on these assholes. Turn my light off. Everybody woke up. I thought, nobody's running. I think we got this. I hit that spider in the face. Got slapped around a little bit. Tom was on his back. And Darlene was the last one standing. She took a beating and a pounding like you would not believe. Which, she's Arlene's sister, so. So after some careful planning, I made an escape route, woke up the zombies and the cop, and decided to run back downstairs where I was. I made windows open holes in fighting areas so I could deal with the cop and the two other zombies. Darlene was a piece of cake. Here comes Chubby. I started beating him with my nightstick. He thought it was his and wanted it back. So I just beat on his nuts for a little bit till I made him mad enough till he popped. And the job was done. I got Men, back to Jen. Drugs, booze. I got it all. She tried to sell me some booze, you but I told her, nah, I just had a run in. I said, I'll take the, the skill magazine. I looked at her jobs. Are thought, you nah, that one's kind of close at the Schweizer oh, residence. <laughs> and then we left and went home. Then I kind of wrapped up the episode here, said my thoughts, said today was hell. <laughs> looked through my inventory, looked through my challenges, seen if I had a point to spend. I did have a point to spend. I decided on using it for intellect level seven, and we decided to do that. Then I said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Fight zombies and not each other, and we'll meet in the next video. See you guys.